guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Rowan. I needed to make a video saying thank you to everybody that made my birthday feel like a month-long event. I'm not even kidding you guys. I was able to celebrate with my family at the Mickey exhibit. I was able to go out like five times with different friends like in the same week. So I felt like the entire week was just me going out to eat and spending like time with amazing, amazing people. So I just feel so, so blessed that I was able to do that. So that is why I am making this video. It's kind of like a thank you to all of them and to all of you that made my birthday they feel so special. The messages I received, the texts I received, the calls I received, the gifts I received, I really felt like I was completely spoiled this birthday. And I really do mean it when I say that each birthday gets better and better. I do have to say that I am that kind of person that just basks in the attention. Um, so when it's my birthday, I love it. Like I make it known that it's my birthday. On my birthday it was February 7th. I was actually working that day. So I literally went in with like a birthday girl shirt on. I was wearing a black skirt. I had ears on. Like I was just... Honestly, I was like that extra person that really should not be that extra, but I didn't care. And all the kids were really sweet and all my coworkers were really sweet. Like I just had an awesome time even though I was working. So I also wanted to say a big shout out to my coworkers and everybody at my job that just made that day very, very special. So yeah, so this video is going to be showing you guys what I received for my birthday. Some of them are Disney themed, some of them are not. I really hope I gathered everything. I made sure sure to kind of put them in a pile every time I received something that way I didn't forget anybody so that's basically what this video is gonna be about I'm just gonna be showing you guys the sweet things I was sent for my birthday so I'm gonna start off with the gift that Mina got me so obviously you guys know who Mina is if you don't know who Mina is she is <laughs> I feel like if you don't know who Mina is, then that's a problem. She's the one that's usually standing on this side of me when we're doing a video together. And she's the reason why, to be honest, this channel took off. When I asked Mina to join me, I feel like a lot of you guys really enjoyed seeing our relationship on camera. So I do really believe that the reason why we're this big right now is because of her. If she hadn't come on with me on this channel, I don't really think that I would be where I am today or we would be where we are today so I just have to say that like Mina does play a very important part on this channel so she does mean the world to me not just because of the channel obviously she's like I've been best friends with her for like 23 years so obviously that also has a lot to do with it um, but anyway so first of all before I get to the gift that she got me which I think is so beautiful I have to share the card with you guys because it's just so funny so the card says practically perfect in every way and it has Mary Poppins on it and then on the inside it says that's you mom hope your birthday is perfect too which I think is so funny so there's like this ongoing joke that Mina is my child and I kind of like um, she was like my first child that I had and because I'm always like buying her things I'm always making sure like she's fed and stuff so I think that was that was so funny and so cute and it's always like an inside joke so I thought that the fact that she like took the time to pick out a card for me was really sweet and of course like the words inside were absolutely beautiful so she got this necklace for me and it is the Aquarius constellation because obviously I'm an Aquarius I was born in February and she got this from the company local electic so this is the necklace it is the constellation of the Aquarius and it actually says that down here Aquarius I love the fact that they included like a little bit of the galaxy in the back so that you can see the constellation in the sky in the night sky this is so pretty she knows that I love dainty jewelry so this was definitely the perfect thing for me and I'm so like I'm so touched that she thought of me thank you so much Mina you are the best I love you so the next thing I'm going to show you is from my good friend Patty funny story so I have a tendency to go on Instagram and kind of share what I want from the Disney shops so when I see something that I really like either a figurine a necklace whatever it is I share it on my Instagram story and a lot of the time because you guys are amazing um, people who follow me on Instagram will get it for me and send it to me as a surprise so I put this item on my Instagram and Patty had seen it and because she saw how much I wanted it she ended up buying it for me so the problem with that is that when I put it on my story 
everyone kind of has the same idea of what I want. So what ended up happening was a beer got me the same thing and I felt so so bad that a beer had gotten me the same exact thing as Patty. Um, obviously they wouldn't have known because they don't really talk to each other so they wouldn't have known that each of them were getting me this. So it was the necklace of the Aquarius birthstone as a mini, like a mini necklace and it has the amethyst birthstone because that is the birthstone for February. So I really like the way that that looked. It was very simple. So I ended up sharing it um, just to say like, oh, this is really cute. I would love to have this or whatever. And I guess Patty and Nabir had the same idea and bought me the same necklace. So I'm actually wearing one right now. This is the one from Abir. She got it for me in a silver color and Patty got it for me in a rose gold color. So I didn't have the heart to return one because I think that it was very sweet of both of them to think of me in that way so I ended up keeping both because one of them is silver and the other one is rose gold so I can always like switch up whatever mood I'm in so I just wanted to say thank you to both of them because they're so sweet and I really do love both necklaces in their own ways so I'm gonna show you guys a close-up of what the necklace looks like I'm not gonna take this one off because it's already on my neck so this is from the company Crystalou and this is I guess a company that makes Disney jewelry and when you open it you have the necklace, the birthstone of February in mini ear form. So obviously amethyst is on the bottom. I'm not sure what crystals are on the ears, but this is just something very beautiful. So they have this in different colors of the month. So obviously I got February because that is my birth month. As you can see, the chain here is gold. So the one that I'm wearing that a beer got me is a silver color. So I think this is so pretty and so gorgeous. Again, I really like simple jewelry. So they both did a wonderful job. Thank you so much, Patty and a beer. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is also jewelry, so I guess I'll, I'll just stay with the same theme. Do you guys remember the Disney men tag I did with a beer that I will link actually down below? I was wearing a sweater with like all the Disney princes faces on it. That was a birthday gift from my husband. I actually asked him if I could get it for my birthday and he ended up buying it for me, so that was also a birthday gift. The next two things I'm going to show you are Valentine's Day gift, but I'm also going to include this because it is a gift that I got in the month of February, so I just thought it would make more sense. So this is from Disney Rock Love. It's a company that makes Disney jewelry. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. When I first saw the, the ring, because he got me a ring and a matching necklace. When I first saw the ring, I was kind of taken aback by what it looked like. Because, again, I like dainty jewelry. And I guess... Um, I guess Hafez doesn't know that I like dainty jewelry. I really felt like the ring was very unique. Like it's not something that I would wear all the time. But um, I still think it was very sweet of him to think about me and to you know, incorporate jewelry and Disney because he does know that I like jewelry and he does know that I like Disney. So the first item is a ring and it is actually like the rose bush that they are painting the roses red in the movie. So you can actually see that some of the roses are not completely fully red, they're still white. Like I said, it's very unique, it's very different. It's from the Rock Love collection, so I wasn't, I was kind of taken aback when I first saw it. It does kind of grow on you, and like I said, I'm probably not gonna be wearing it all the time, just like on special occasions, but I do think that it was very sweet of him to gift this to me because again, it shows that he was thinking about me and he knows that I like jewelry and Disney. So this is something that I really love. It's a quote that the Queen of Hearts says, and it says, always here are my ways. Um, and that's when she's talking to Alice and telling her like basically everything I say goes. I think it's really pretty. It has like red roses on the side. And I also like the way that they styled this. So thank you baby for thinking of me on Valentine's Day. So the next item that I'm going to show you guys is from a subscriber named Cece from Happily Ever Cece. Um, I actually ended up sending her like those Beauty and the Beast note cards that I had received from Becca. She commented on a video and she was like, oh my god, I've been looking for those note cards everywhere. I mean, I felt like because I was gifted these by Becca, I wanted to give something back. So I did end up sending a couple of note cards from that collection to Cece, just because she said that she liked them, and um, I felt like she really wanted them, so I was like, let me go and do something nice. I guess because I did that, she sent me something, which she did not have to do. I never do 
Like, I never expect anything back when I'm giving something to someone, so it was very sweet of her to think of me. And she ended up gifting me this Pegasus, which is something that I actually don't have. I don't have, like, I collected all the Hercules Funkos, and he was one that I did not have. She saw that I didn't have him in my collection, and she sent him over to me, which I think was so, so sweet. So, Cece, thank you so much for giving me this cute baby Pegasus, because now I think my collection is complete. I have all of the Hercules Funkos. All right, so the next three things that I'm going to show you is from my very good friend, Stephanie. Stephanie works with me at work, and she's like my Disney bestie. She loves Disney just as much as me, so we bonded a lot over that. She went to Disney World for a couple days with her fiancé, and she picked me up this cute snack money a makeup bag so I think this is so adorable um, Disney did come out with like a snack collection she said that she saw this and she thought of me and she was like I needed to get it for you so I thought that was very sweet of her to do it's a snack money on the front and then in the back it has all of um, the Mickey shaped snacks so the pretzel the donut and the ice cream cone so this was so sweet of her to do she didn't have to do that again but she was thinking of me while she was down there so thank you so much Stephanie for thinking about me while you were at Disney she also got me these ears which is actually from the mystery Claire grab bags that they came out with Yvette from happily ever Evie did a video of her opening up some of these ears so I'm gonna link that down below because I thought it was so cute I unfortunately couldn't get my hands on these and she ended up gifting these to me and I think they're so cute definitely not like high quality ears but I still think they're so adorable so thank you so much Stephanie for thinking of me look at how beautiful those are and then as well as that she got me this 2019 Disney tumbler that she also got when she went down to Disney World it just has all of the gang Mickey Donald Goofy and Pluto and it says 2019 on it I'm probably gonna give this to Hafez to use because he loves these kinds of tumblers but I still think that it's so cute that she thought of me like that is so adorable so the next couple of items that I'm gonna show you guys is from one of my very very good friends Beth over at the Collectioneers Club and she's been like gathering all these things for me and she was like I still want to get you something to get on your birthday so this was actually delivered to me on my birthday which she did not have to do but she was like going through her collection of pins and she saw some pins that she thought that I would like so she did end up gifting me a couple of those and when I say a couple I mean a lot like she got me a lot of pins and they're all Beauty and the Beast themed and once you guys see these pins you're gonna freak out because I did look how beautiful these are so this is probably one of my favorites it has Belle and Beast and they're gazing like longingly at each other. I feel like I say that about a lot of couples, but it's really cute. It has Belle and Beast and they just look so adorable. I love the pink background and I am so glad to have this a part of my Beauty and the Beast collection. So this one is of Belle. The back is kind of see-through. It's like this purple uh, glazed glassy material. I'm not completely sure, but I think Belle looks really pretty and again, I Honestly, I collect anything to do with Belle, so this was perfect for her to send to me. This one's also very unique. It is, I guess this was a pin set that came out in 2002. Beth told me that each month had a princess, and October happened to be Belle's. So it is the October calendar in 2002, and it has Belle on it. And I just think that this is so cute. I wish that I had the entire collection because this looks like it's adorable. So this is probably the, my favorite one that she sent me. It is of Belle and you can see the silhouette of Beast behind her. It says Belle and the Beast and the year 1991. This is absolutely gorgeous. Definitely my favorite one that she sent me. This is also of Belle and you can see the castle behind her. This probably came from like a pin set because it says Belle on the bottom. So this was probably like probably a couple of princesses came out in this collection and she of course sent me Belle. And this is the last pin. So it is just of doors and a castle like a little castle. But what's cute about it is that she told me when you open up these doors, when you open up these doors, you can see Belle. And I actually did not know that when I first got this. So this is so cute. This is probably my second favorite one, even though I love them all. But that, I think that is such a clever idea. She says she has Aurora in her blue dress and she had Belle, so she knew that I needed Belle, which is so cute. Thank you so much, Beth. You are the best. 
I'm gonna get in your face right now. Thank you so, so much, Beth. You did not have to do this. Mwah. So the next thing I'm gonna share with you, I got from Casey over at Casey's Corner. She has an ear shop. She also does have a YouTube channel. So I will also link her down below. She was so sweet enough to send me a pin that is Raylo themed. So I love anything to do with Raylo. So she did amazing at that part. So the first thing that she sent me, which I was not expecting, was this shirt of Hades. And it says, I'm too hot, hot damn. And <laughs> how freaking cute is this? I'm obsessed with this shirt. I actually, I think she sent it to me and she was like, oh my God, you need this. And then she went ahead and bought it for me. Like, you did not have to do that, Casey, at all. Yeah, so she sent me this shirt, and then she sent me a pin in the mail that had to do with Raylo, and honestly, she knows what I love. She knows I love Hades, she knows I love Raylo, like, always on the money with everything. Thank you so, so much, Casey. So this is the pin that Casey sent me. I actually do have a pin like this that's on my pin board but it's in different colors. So honestly, it says Raylo on it. I don't even care. I'm so happy that I have another one. Anything to do with Raylo, guys, I have to have. So Casey, thank you so much for thinking of me. So the next thing I'm gonna share with you guys is from a friend. Her name is Christina, and she's always sending me these really cute things like, I never ask anybody to send me anything, but she's always, always sending me something. She sent me like this really cute, birthday card and it says break the confetti the streamers and balloons um you've got a birthday to celebrate and it's just so so cute like the fact that she included a card and then inside she got me a couple of things actually which again she did not have to do okay so the first thing that she sent me was this Raylo pen and it says you're not alone so when you're holding it this way you can see Ray and then when you're holding it this way, you can see Kylo and it's kind of like a yin, yin and yang pin of them, which they are very yin and yang. You guys know Kylo is like the dark, Rey is the light, and I'm really hoping that in episode nine, they finally get together. Like, it could happen, J.J. Abrams, please. So yeah, I'm so loving this. It's definitely going back on my pin board back there with my Raylo section. Thank you so much, Christina, oh my goodness. She also got me this Hades pin because she knows I collect Hades things. And I've never seen this before. I have no idea, oh, it's Disney Lounge Fly. So this is probably from Box Lunch. But yeah, it has Hades on it. And again, she knows I collect Hades pins. So she included that in the package as well. And then last but not least, she included this Cogsworth ornament. And she knows I collect Disney ornaments because I put up a tree every year and I put make it Disney themed. So this is definitely going up on my Disney tree next year. Thank you so much, Christina. You did not have to send any of this, but you are an absolute sweetheart. Mwah. I also received this very sweet package and I am just completely blown away by this. Okay, so I got this in the mail. First of all, look at the stickers. Happy birthday, it has Belle on it. So I got this from Nicole and her daughter Belle. So Nicole is actually the owner of Irresistible Ears. She drew a pain and panic card for me. Like, what? How did she do this? This is so beautiful. And on top of that, she also got me these very beautiful Beauty and the Beast coasters. Like, look at this, and she made them how beautiful the fabric is absolutely gorgeous i don't even want to use these as coasters i kind of want to just hang these up like on the wall oh my goodness i am so like completely blown away by this and she handmade these she made these coasters by hand nicole thank you so so much you did not have to do this just the scenes that she used as well like when he's with the witch when he's begging her for forgiveness. This is so gorgeous. She also sent me this cute Hercules keychain so that I could put this on my keys. It has scenes from Hercules, Pain and Panic, Hades. Again, handmade by her. Handmade items are so special to get because you know that that person thought of you when they were making it. Just so, so sweet. So one of the first people that actually gifted me for my birthday was Laura. And Laura has also sent me tons of things, and she's been so sweet to me, her and her daughter. 
So I just wanted to really quickly show you guys. I did do an unboxing of it, and I will, I'll, maybe I'll link that down below as well. But she ended up getting me this Beauty and the Beast journal. And again, I'm going to link the video down below showing you all that. But I just wanted to say thank you to her again because she was thinking of me when she sent me all this. So she sent me a Beauty and the Beast journal. I was also sent this Hercules pocketbook that is also designed by the Hercules VHS. She also had gotten me the Oh My Disney a uh, four pack of Beauty and the Beast glasses. Again, something that I really love, the movie that I really love. So thank you so, so much, Lara, for sending me all these things. Again, you did not have to do that. I am just so touched by it all. Thank you so, so much. And the last item that I'm going to share with you guys was given by Fatima, Mina's sister, who is also one of my best friends. She had taken a recent trip to California and she visited, I think, Little Tokyo is what it's called. And in there, there were like anime things and she knows I love anime and manga. And one of my favorite animes of all time is Sailor Moon. I was like a Sailor Mars girl. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, it's like these Sailor Scouts defend the galaxy and kind of like get rid of all of these evil people that want to dominate the world. So there were five of them, Sailor Mars, Sailor Moon, Sailor Venus, Sailor Jupiter, and Sailor Mercury. So Sailor Mars was me. I definitely related to her the most because she was like kind of a hothead and I was definitely a hothead. She also looked like me. She had like long black hair. So she ended up getting me the Sailor Mars collectible. In the back it says that you can get Sailor Mars, Sailor Venus, and Sailor Moon. So she ended up giving me Sailor Mars. So I'm gonna open this up for you guys really quick. So this is her. She looks so freaking cute. So you can actually um, build up. So um, on the back, it shows you like what they're supposed to look like. So you can get Sailor Mars, Sailor Venus, and Sailor Moon. So I'm so excited that I have her. I do have like a little bit of a Sailor Moon collection going on. So I'm gonna be including her in that display. Thank you so, so much Fatima for thinking of me while you were in California and for giving me my favorite Sailor Scout as a little mini figurine. These videos are always so stressful to film. Like I literally moved the camera a million times while I was filming. So I'm so sorry if like I look tilted now. I hope that I showed everything that I got. Might have like missed a couple things because again, um, if you guys saw what was in front of me right now, you'd be like, what the F is going on, Rowan? Like, why do you not have your mm together? But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I had gotten from all of these sweet people because again, like, I feel like I never say thank you enough to all of them, so I wanted to make this video kind of to say thank you to everybody. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Last thing I'm gonna show you is something that was sent to me by Juliana over at Glitter Crafting. And oh, I almost forgot to show this to you guys because I have so many things like on this bed, it's insane. So she had told me that she does 3D ears now, like um, 3D rhinestone ears. Okay, so I'm gonna open up the package really quick right now. It says Disney Damsels, Rowan and Mina, I hope you enjoy these ears. Thank you for all the support you have and the generosity you've given me with much love, Juliana. Oh my god, look at the little cute Mickey thing that she put on here. That is so adorable. Okay, so she ended... Oh my god, what? Stop! Oh my god, are these like clips? Like clips to put like for papers and stuff? Oh my god. So these are her glitter 3D ears. Oh my goodness, and it says my name, Rowan, and three balloons. Do you guys see how gorgeous that is? So it says my name, and it has three balloons, and it's all in pink because I told her I want them in pink. She actually asked me, like, what color I wanted, and she was like, I knew that you would go for pink, but I didn't know what design you'd want here. She said she didn't know if I wanted the castle or balloons, but I actually really like the balloons. So this is absolutely gorgeous. So she sent me a pair and she sent Mina a pair, but I'm not going to show you guys Mina because I want Mina to be surprised and I think Mina's going to watch this video. So I'm not going to show you the ears that she sent Mina, but these are so beautiful. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to have to take these off for a second because I need to do this. Like, I need to put these on. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> these are so cute. How cute are these? Okay, so 
I already like told you guys already that I'm going to Disney for my 30th birthday because I want to and I've never been to Disney during my birthday. These are totally going to be those birthday ears that day that I'm in Disney. I'm going to be wearing these and I'm going to be in like a pink outfit, probably going to be really uh, either in a tutu skirt or something really fancy just because I can do that and I'm extra. But these are perfect. Thank you so, so much, Juliana. You are the best. She's always spoiling me so, so much. Oh my God, I love it so much. Thank you so much. This was a perfect way to end this video. Again, thank you to everybody for making me feel so special this year. Again, whether you sent messages, texts, phone calls, whether you sent me gifts, you are all just so, so sweet. And I love you all so much. And I love calling you guys my family, my Disney damsel family. I just, I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate all of you. All right. So that is that for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed my little show and tell of what I got from all of my loved ones. I did feel truly cherished and loved by everybody this year. Um, and I still do. I feel cherished and loved every day, to be honest, because I'm just surrounded by so many amazing people. I love you guys with all of my heart, and I hope that you have a magical day. Bye.